like a martial art fall between your brain and your mouth and your body and the spiritual connection. You can flow like water into mental reflection. It's a natural selection of provocative poems with funky word marks. And we've all been so in this scene for some time. Scribbling away, trying to write the tight rhymes. We've got something to say. And we play a little game here to entertain you. We mix the music and the words when we do tough food. We mix the music and the words. Tung Fu is an experiment. Um, it is a show, but the one thing that you need to know is there is no rehearsal. So everything that you're going to see today just happens right now. So we have poets, we have singers, we have storytellers, we have rappers, and they come to the stage, they give the band a little flavour of what their piece is about, and the band conjures something up in a moment. There's no plan, this is all just here and now. There's only one show like this, and it's happening right in this moment. Yeah, it's just, it's just how we do it. it, it, it yeah, it's all that trust and risk and collaboration and seeing where the moment takes us. Now, I, I've been inspired by this street, this very nondescript but kind of slightly crumbling and beautiful street. And I love the name. I love the name. So I was inspired to write a short poem about a place with no name. So this is for this street, for our street for today. A nameless place is an empty pan, a pot waiting to be blessed with oil and spices, rice, tradition, creativity and heat. It's the empty plate waiting for the meal, the gesture before an offering, the match just before it becomes flame. And if ever there is a chance to meet there, to sit and wonder at the pan's blackened base, the flavours that wax its walls, the tastes on the tongues of all who have feasted. All we need to do is listen. A nameless place is a pack of cards. A nameless place is a kite about to be flown. A nameless place is a totem pole carved by hands long since forgotten. A monument to yesterday, to tomorrow, to this moment, and all that it contains. Let's bring in this moment and all that it contains. Let's make as much noise, as much energy, as much power as we can possibly bring into this moment. Because we've just got this moment. We don't know what's going to happen past this moment, but all we've got is right now. All we've got is right now. So let's hear some noise. Let's hear some noise for right now. Seth, I would like you to imagine that this is a drum lesson, okay, and you've been learning for a few, a few months. 
but you're a, you don't practice much, and you're a bit rubbish. And it, 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 I just need a, a like a lumpy beat, like a but then it's going to build, and somewhere in the poem, with the help of these good people, we're going to find this kind of deep kind of agricultural, kind of gnarly, dirty funk. And I want you to kind of channel that and let that animal out, okay? So we're going to start rubbish and we're going to build up, all right? So, let's just start off with the beat. A bit less. Yeah, yeah, more timid, more shy. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Musicians hate this. They hate being asked to play badly. Yeah, it still sounds too good. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Okay, good, good, good. Let's call him Eddie. Eddie is 12 years old and timid. I'm teaching him the drums, but there's something lacking. I say, Eddie, the hi-hats are steady, the snare's rocking the two and four, bass drums pushing off beats. It's very raw, but you've got meat on the bone now. But Eddie, tell me what you're drumming for. These beats, they're not fat back, they're not even wet slap. You can't cook at this temperature. It's said a drummer can summon spirits from Africa's pulsing core, whose voices have been echoing through every generation since our ancestors first stood on two feet. But right now, you're pushing this beat around like food on a plate you haven't had to work for yet. Like a too polite, apologetic, under the breath, ever so thank you please. Could I, should I play it like this? White or black with the hairy fat body. Let the pig out, Eddie. Let the beats get smelly. Let the pig out. Let the hi hat splash. Let the snare drum cracking. Push the beat across the bar and kick the sucker back. And let the pig out. Come on, boys. With that pig, he's full in there. He's steed of North Scott Fred. He spreads light through the land with his golden hair. And that pig pulls Parisi for this goddess of the heavens. All seeing, holding the sun and the moon in both hands. And that pig belongs to Seth, brother, an enemy of Osiris. Seth becomes a god of chaos and darkness. And that pig is Varaha, incarnation of Vishnu. Who fought and won a thousand year battle to save the earth. And he hits you. Come on, the pig is inside. And when you release the beast, cast your worries to one side. It'll untie your tongue tie, trample your burden. The pig is your friend, Eddie, of that much I'm certain. Let the pig out. To. Yes, yes, you, to an artist, writer, dancer, poet, musician, come on, yes, yes, you, to the people around the world standing up for change, yes, yes, you, to the lads who lost their 